Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Caboose bringing you another Batman Arkham Knight video. And today, what I got for you guys here is going to be ranking all these suits for Batman specifically in this game from worst to best. This is a video I should have made a long time ago, but I'm making it now. And guys, DC Fandom is upon us. We are one week away. So what I'm going to need you guys to do is hit that thumbs up button. Share the hype with me right now by hitting the like button on this video. If you're looking forward to all the content that's coming your way for Suicide Squad, Kill the Justice League by Rocksteady or Gotham Knights by WB Montreal. Speaking of both games, if you want to stay up to date on them, I got you covered. I'm making videos on all the news and updates reacting to whatever we're gonna get at dc fandom showcasing gameplay when the games do come out and so much more if that sounds good to you hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be immediately notified when a video goes live lastly reminded you guys that i am sponsored by g fuel grab yourself some tubs some shaker cups some cans some starter kits or this venom let there be carnage g fuel the link is going to be in the description box below just make sure if you grab anything from g fuel that you use Use code caboose at checkout and with all that being said let's jump into my list so at number 22 i have the anime skin and i understand what this suit is going for and that it's based off of an animated batman movie that presented batman in an anime style which is cool but it just doesn't work for me the cowl is weird the suit is too bulky and the collar makes me feel like it's incredibly uncomfortable for batman to wear just not feeling this one all around coming in at number 21 i have the zurin r skin another one that just doesn't work i can appreciate some of the weirder experiments with batman in the comics but this is too much for me don't dig the mishmash of colors kind of like the concept of the stitched together suit but that's about as far as that will go when it comes to compliments that i may have it breaks immersion and is a step too far into crazy town for my liking then at number 20 i have the dick grayson heir to the cowl suit or as it's known in the game the iconic gray and black suit and there's just something about this suit that has always looked off to me it feels like the actual costume is padded and has some of those fake muscles that you would see on a halloween costume at party city i hate to speak so harshly as i imagine someone at rock said he worked really hard creating this suit Suit. it's just not appealing for me and i don't really dig it moving on though to number 19 i have the batman noel skin i know there are a lot of people out there who really appreciate this suit and more power to you as i remember a time where i thought this skin was pretty cool but the more i've looked at it and especially when creating this list i've come to the realization that the sharpness and funky triangular abs isn't really my cup of tea i will say we're starting to get into the territory of suits that i think are fine but i don't particularly like and the noel skin is where that begins then at number 18 i have the dark knight return suit this is such a shame because in the previous rock city arkham game batman arkham city they absolutely positively nailed this suit it was done to perfection mainly because of the fact that in arkham city when creating alternate suits like this they not only had a perfect recreation of the actual costume but they also went above and beyond with bruce wayne's head sculpt he is a one-to-one -one recreation in arkham city whereas in arkham knight it is only just the suit i understand the reason why is there was no pre-rendered cutscenes in arkham knight and so everything in game has to seamlessly transition from gameplay to cutscene meaning that a different head sculpt for bruce wayne would cause some clipping and weird visual bugs during specific moments in the game really a blessing and a curse for batman arkham knight at number 17 i have the adam west batman suit and to be honest i don't mind this suit at all it pays homage to a silly but fun era of batman of course the suit aptly named by adam west because he was the legendary actor who portrayed the character at the time in the 60s and yeah i love the shade of blue here and i think it's pretty decent to free roam around in especially when you pair this with the adam west batmobile that was added to the game i don't really have any major complaints for the suit besides the fact that it is a little immersion breaking if you're going to use it during the story at number 16 i got the first appearance suit again don't mind this suit at all and i kind of like it i just appreciate its inclusion in general to honor the very first suit batman ever wore when the character was introduced in detective comics issue 27 there's only one huge issue with this suit that gets in the way of me putting it higher on my list and that's the arm sticking out ahead of the cape when you're gliding i'm not 100 sure as to why this happens but from what i can tell 
It's because the cape is too thin for the sake of matching the actual look of it in the comics, but because of that, the normal gliding animation puts Batman's arms in front of the cape when you're in a glide. It's harder to tell when you're just gliding straight ahead, but you'll definitely notice when you pan your camera down and get to see Batman from a top-down view. Then at number 15 is a pretty hot take, I have the Dark Knight movie suit. I know some people are going to hate me for this, but I just think in general that this suit is extremely overrated. I don't think it's a bad suit by any means, but there are way too many people that are sleeping on the bat suit in Batman Begins. I think that suit is infinitely better than the one in the Dark Knight, and when Sefton Hill at Rocksteady was originally tweeting, asking people to vote between the two, the Batman Begins suit was the one I was heavily campaigning for. The Dark Knight suit is too skinny looking in my opinion, and it just doesn't generate that feeling of fear or intimidation or power that you know to have in Batman Arkham Knight when approaching a group of thugs. I'll always dream of what could have been had the people voted for the Batman Begins suit instead. <sighs> a man can dream though. A man can dream. Then at number 14, I have the Batman Incorporated suit. This is almost a really good suit. I'm a huge fan of the yellow and black oval shaped bat symbol. The gray and black textures are perfect. Cool utility belt, sweet gauntlets, a nice cowl. And then you look down and for some reason, Batman is out here protecting himself like he's running to too many criminals that aim for his you know what's. I know it seems like a nitpick at most and it really is a nitpick at most, but I don't really understand the design choice there completely throws the look off. We were so close to greatness, folks. So close. Then at number 13, I have the Flashpoint skin, and oh boy. This suit is actually pretty great. I almost love it even. Rocksteady took the Flashpoint look and added their own spin to it in a great way. The glowing red eyes work on every level, the guns holstered on his legs, even the shoulders look sweet. But then you start gliding around and Batman's got his arms sticking out all goofy looking similar to what happens with that first appearance suit, except except it's much worse here. The problem here is this time around, the cape is a lot thinner than the first appearance suit's cape, so you cannot avoid seeing Batman's arms sticking out. I'm really not sure why this was overlooked during development and why they didn't just create either a new glide animation for suits that had thinner capes or just make the cape spread out enough in a glide so that it could reach his hands. Maybe there wasn't enough time, maybe the folks at Rocksteady didn't think it looked as weird as it does, I'm really not sure, but this suit definitely suffers a lower spot on my list because of this weird visual bug. Then coming in at number 12, I have the new 52 Batman suit. Pretty much from here on out, it's nothing but suits that I like. Like top to bottom and I dig the new 52 look it's very tactical got a great shade of gray and while the lines are a bit too much in the abdominal area it's overall a good looking suit that I don't mind using every now and again at number 11 I got the 1970s Batman suit and I know there's a bit of a dark cloud over this era of Batman and in the comics in general but I unironically love this suit the blue is awesome, and all the same with the Batman Incorporated suit, the oval-shaped yellow and black bat symbol is amazing. Pair this with that sweet blue 1970s Arkham Knight Batmobile, and I still have a blast free roaming around to this day. It just doesn't quite crack the top 10, as it falls under the category of suits I feel breaks the immersion just a bit when you're playing through the story and seeing this suit in motion during a cutscene. Batman feels out of place during those moments. But here we go now, top 10 time. And number 10, I got the Batman Beyond skin. Okay, come on guys, join me and see the light. This is a good suit. Is it better than the OG Batman Beyond suit from Arkham City? Absolutely not, no, not even close. Is it a bad suit like some people would suggest? Um, no. I genuinely don't see what others do when they hate on this suit. I dig the armored look and the cowl is sweet. It very much gives off the vibe of a futuristic Batman, especially a futuristic Batman set within the world of the Arkhamverse. Again, I am in no way saying I prefer this to the classic Batman Beyond suit similar to what we got in Arkham City. I would have much preferred that we got that version, but I am not hating on this design at all. I think it's badass and I don't care what anyone says. Then at number 9, I got the Arkham Origins suit. I'd like to give a huge shout out to Rocksteady for fully acknowledging the existence of this game and for including this suit from Origins in Arkham Knight. I love the way that this suit reflects a younger Batman with a little less experience and thus a more armored suit to protect himself from some of the damage he might take. You can actually witness the progression in confidence and skill in Batman as he sheds the armor for a much sleeker look down the line, and I really like the way that the Arkham Origins suit 
provides that information and gives you that story in such a subtle way. My only complaint is that for some reason the suit is a lot darker in Batman Arkham Knight, almost an all black suit, whereas it's missing some of the gray tones that we had in Arkham Origins. Then at number 8 I have Bat Suit version 7.43 and I actually really like this suit as it acts as a nice bridge between the suit that we wore in Batman Arkham Asylum and City and then to the suit that we will wear when we upgrade to it in Batman Arkham Knight. I like the almost armored design while maintaining the similar flair the Arkham City suit had. There really isn't too much to say about the suit besides the fact that it's really solid. It's just that the suits beyond this point are more than solid. And with that being said, at number 7, I have the Justice League 3000 suit. I'll never forget when this suit was first revealed as a PlayStation exclusive back in the day. It was a suit I was actively hoping would be in the game, and seeing it as a full fully realized 3D render in all the glory of Arkham Knight's visuals had me stunned and I still love using this suit to this day. I just wish it wasn't locked to the PlayStation. I recently got addicted to Arkham Knight again, but this time on PC, running the game at max settings and it's an entirely new experience. There's nothing quite like gliding around or free roaming the streets of Gotham in the Batmobile at a crispy 60 to 90 FPS. I feel spoiled as the game didn't feel the same jumping back on the PS4 version. Nevertheless, this is a fantastic suit. The red and black mix together very well. I love the oversized bat symbol on his chest, and while I'm normally an advocate for longer ears on the Batman cowl, I think these shorter ears work really well here and provide a nice alternative futuristic look for Batman. Then just outside of the top 5 at number 6, I have the Tim Burton 1989 movie suit. This is such an iconic costume from an iconic film, and it's translated well in this game. I like my gray and black bat suits, but the way this suit is designed makes the yellow and black bat symbol really pops surrounded by the all black costume. The cowl here is one of the best in the game as well. You can see the way it wraps around his head and onto his neck and shoulders. It's such a cool design. And speaking of the cowl, it's nice to see Batman being able to move his head around in this game. That was something that made the actual suit in the film look a little stiff or awkward. It's also such a treat to be able to use the Batmobile from the 1989 film as well. Rocksteady went above and beyond with their DLC and I feel they don't get enough credit for it. This suit is damn near perfect, but the next five are just about as close to perfect as it gets. Here we go now. At number five, I have the Earth 2 Dark Knight skin. Again, the red and black color scheme is perfect for Batman. It just makes the character seem very intimidating. I dig the glowing eyes and more than anything, the simplicity that this suit offers. It isn't too over the top. It's not trying to do too much. Just a nice, subtle, badass red and black bat suit. The red utility belt is also a nice touch. I'll never forget how rare this suit was back before Rocksteady released it in a free patch. From what I understand, it was only previously obtainable by people who attended E3 and got a voucher code. And coincidentally, my first E3 ever was the year that Batman Arkham Knight was coming out. Next up, at number 4, I got another movie suit, and in fact, my favorite live action bat suit ever created. That being the Batman v Superman Ben Affleck bat suit. The gray is so prominent here, which I love. It's got the inspiration from the Dark Knight Returns suit with the huge bat symbol, but this suit isn't weighed down by missing out on the head sculpt, as Bruce Wayne's head size and shape in Batman Arkham Knight kind of closely resembles that of Ben Affleck. I'm not saying the design of Bruce Wayne's character in Arkham Knight is similar to that of Ben Affleck, but rather just the size of his head, making this game's Bruce Wayne fit nicely into the Affleck bat suit which is pretty much perfect in my eyes when it comes to live action suits for Batman. And cracking that top three, I have Batsuit version 8.04, which is the armored suit you upgrade to and wear for a majority of Batman Arkham Knight. This suit is all different kinds of kick-ass. Often in the superhero genre, when characters who don't normally wear armor get armored upgrades, we see the designs get a little too crazy and stray far away from the iconography of the character. This suit keeps everything in line with how we would immediately identify Batman. You'd see that bat symbol right there, it's prominent, even sometimes protruding out of the chest with different pieces of armor separating as Batman kind of takes a deep breath. Then you got those long ears on the cowl, which I'm a huge fan of, a massive cape that is sprawling when you're in a glide, and some dope gauntlets, which we see are put to good use throughout the entirety of the game. I just love the mechanical look of this suit, but it also feels efficient. It feels Batman. I don't have a single complaint at all. This suit's incredible. And the runner-up of my favorite bat suits in Arkham Knight is the prestige armored suit. This is essentially the exact same suit I just described, except instead it's got a golden bat symbol on the chest 
and it's a bit of a darker gray almost black color scheme on the armor when it comes to the torso area this suit just does it for me it helps that it feels so well earned as you can only unlock it after having completed 240 percent of the game that means getting 100 percent completion of the main story and new game plus then getting that extra 20 percent from this season of infamy with another 20 percent in new game plus not much else i need to be reiterating from what i just said just apply everything i love about the suit at the number three slot and put it here with the cherry on top being the gratification of earning this suit after completing everything there is to do in batman arkham knight then finally at number one you already know what it is my favorite suit in batman arkham knight and in general my all-time favorite suit in the arkham franchise is the original arkham batman skin this is the suit that he wore in batman arkham asylum and is well carrying over into batman arkham city and it's perfect simple as that as i was saying a while back when i was talking about the arkham origin suit you can see the progression there batman has shed the bulky armor for a far more sleek design that makes the character a little more nimble giving him the freedom and flexibility needed to serve endless beatdowns on thugs roaming around gotham i love the symbol on the chest i love the nostalgia i feel when i use this suit and yeah i love the underwear it's not a make or break factor on whether or not i think a bat suit is bad but it certainly works here this is forever and always my number one favorite suit in the arkham franchise so of course it's my number one suit in batman arkham knight and there you have it all of the suits in this game ranked from worst to best i know that there's also the damaged version of the arkham knight armored suit you can couple that in there don't worry about it i'm not missing anything from what i understand if i am well shoot but with that said now i want to kick it to you guys the best part about making videos like this is that you get to sound off in the comments section below and let me know what your list is or just in general what's your favorite suit in the game sound off in the comments section below and of course if you enjoyed today's video if you could consider leaving a like rating on it it would show your support and i would really appreciate it i'm caboose and you can click on screen to make your way to one of the other videos on the channel or you can click my logo to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already you can also follow me on instagram and twitter those links are going to be in the description drop a like if you enjoyed leave a comment if you have an opinion and subscribe if you're new see you guys later